I bow. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah. Sweet boy. You want some white chicken chili? It wasn't for you. Big eyes. You got big eyes. Yes, you do. Hi, fella. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Uh, so it was Thursday. We started the day off with breakfast stream. Uh, worked throughout the day. Um, I was working here on stuff I needed to do here. Mal was at the new place, took some stuff over, and then also has been doing some kind of supplementary cleaning things that she wanted to do. And then she came back over here tonight because it was Mal's second stream. She did a cooking stream last Thursday. She did a cooking stream tonight as well. And real quick, because I'm sure I'll get the question, is Mal have a schedule? Is it Thursdays? No, Mal doesn't have a schedule yet. Um, it's just that Thursday happened to be the best day two weeks in a row to do it. Um, actually, right this second, it, I'm not even sure that there's going to be a Mal stream next week because we are moving next week, so we're probably gonna be real busy. But uh, at some point in the future, I'm sure Mal will establish a more uh, concrete schedule. But tonight we made uh, white chicken chili. It was very, very good. It's one of my favorite things that uh, Mao has made over the years. It's also remarkably easy to make. It's one of the reasons that we chose to do it tonight was that it was just an easy, simple thing to make, um, a good starting, stream and also a good thing to work on when we're in the middle of doing so much other stuff with moving. By the time this vlog is out, it'll definitely be out on the VOD channel, so check it out if you haven't. It's a really, really good, uh, it's a really, really good video and also, um, I think, a good recipe. Definitely easy to make and, uh, you know, it gives you lots of leftovers and it's a very hearty food, which I really like. Uh, Mao has actually gone to bed. It, Unfortunately, Mal's been dealing with a bit of a headache today, and uh, she got through the stream all right, but then shortly after the stream, she started to get really bad. Her headache started to get a lot worse, so she decided to just turn in early. Um, so hopefully she'll feel better tomorrow, although I suspect she will. I wanted to use this vlog to talk about one other thing, though, and that is an update to our Girl Scout cookie rankings. And uh, I'm not going to bring up the old rankings and try to put like these cookies in new spots because I think that'd be very difficult. But from talking to Mao, we got these, let me hold these up. It's got a Hello Kitty chip clip. We got these uh, in mail very, very recently. These are the Raspberry Rallies. These are the cookies that we couldn't get when we ordered them for one reason or another. I don't remember it at this particular moment. These are basically like Thin Mints at least the same shape, but instead of being mint, they have raspberry in them. And they are delicious. Really good. Like, super, super good. Mal told me she also froze a few. I haven't had a chance to try them frozen, but I'm curious because so many people like frozen thin mints. These will probably be good frozen as well. Um, these are real good. Like, really good. Um, Mal, Mal likes them a lot. Mal, I think Mal said that she might put them at the top of her list, and if not top, I think second. So like really, really high up. Very good cookie. I like that one a lot. And then the other one that I tried today are the, I, we already got rid of the normal packaging. They're in a Ziploc bag now, but the lemonades. And these, uh, so the, the, the Raspberry Rallies are, are small. They're what I would call like the normal Girl Scout cookie size. And then the lemonades are pretty big. They're the same as the Toastiers, which are the cinnamon, um, sugar uh, cookies that we had tried when we had the big bunch of them. These are about the same size as those. Pers personally, I prefer the smaller cookies. I don't understand why you couldn't have made the Tosier smaller. I don't know why you couldn't have made these smaller. Just make them all the same size. Make them tiny. Why can't you just give us more tiny cookies? Don't make them big. I like them tiny. Uh, but these are very good. Same sort of thing. It's um, like a shortbread cookie on one side, and then the other side is like... Uh, 
I don't want to say glazed. It's not glazed. It's got like the, the, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? The packaging's gone, so I can't think of it. The icing. It's got like the the uh, the icing on it. There's probably a better word for that, but it's 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 lemon. But the the, the cookies are called lemonades, and that's because they're not really a tart um, flavor. It's it's very sweet. Those are also very good, and it was very refreshing, which is kind of a weird word to use for cookies. But it was the best thing that I could come up with. It was a very refreshing cookie. I like them both a lot. I don't know where they would go within my my rankings, but I would say that they're probably both in the top half. Although one of the things I was discussing with Mao earlier was that like the Girl Scouts don't really make any bad cookies. Like there's no cookies that I'm like, well, that's definitely at the bottom. Like they're all pretty good. Except for the Adventurefuls. Is that what the, what they were? The the ones that were new that were like too hard. I did have an issue with those. Unfortunately, I felt like that could have been a good cookie, but that was too hard. But like, that's the only one. All the other ones are really good. And they got the ones that are shortbreads and they're a little boring, but they're still good cookies. And sometimes that's what you want. So like, for the most part, the Girl Scout cookies are just really good. But these specifically, lemonades have been around for a while. Raspberry rallies are pretty new. I think they're a year old or something like that. Not, they're not too old. Uh, if you haven't had them, man, try, try them. I mean, I guess you have to like raspberry things, but if you do, whoo, they're very good. Mal, Mal's favorite flavor of, of things is raspberry, so I had a feeling that she was going to really like them, but whoa, they're good. They're really good, and I will probably mop up the rest of these lemonades by myself if Mal doesn't stop me. Anyway, that's it. Otherwise, things are going okay. Um, you know, there's, there's, there is still stuff to do at the new place, but every time Mal goes over... Uh, she's taking another carload of stuff. Um, some of our games are actually out of here now because we had stacked up all the games in the other room and now we've been slowly working into that pile. So that stuff is is disappearing. There's still many other things to pack and many other things to move just on our own. And uh, we have a week, a week, less than a week before movers are here. So the most important thing is going to be making sure that you know, the movers can get to the furniture itself. So if, the, if it's furniture that holds stuff, there can't be anything in it. It needs to be detached from the wall. Like everything needs to be ready for them to get that. But also we have a lot of stuff to box up. But because today was the cooking stream, now we can box up the kitchen. It's gonna make eating a little weird for the next week, but we'll deal with it. So um, that's probably gonna be something that happens over the course of the next two to three days is just boxing up everything in the kitchen. And uh, that'll help a lot. And then we're not super far off from the entire first floor being done. Kinda. I'm stretching that truth a little bit, but not like a whole lot. So I'm just trying to stay positive because it's very easy to get overwhelmed and stressed with everything. So I just keep telling myself that it's gonna be okay. And uh, it's it's been hard. I'm sure that one of the reasons Mao had a headache today is just from some of the stress, but we're working through it the best we can. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?